Hello everyone, this is Mkete Renumbalo from A. Johannesburg Emitrin. I'm studying through E. I'd like to thank Mr. Hamish for helping us so, so much. We have actually got 90 to 100% on that. Thank you so much, Mr. Hamish. Thank you so much, Mr. Hamish. Thank you, and I wish you all the best with your hard work. And just, I just want to say we appreciate you, and uh, we have I have achieved like ninety three percent. Samarani, Samarani, Samarani. This is who am I? I'm not gonna want kisses from you. I live in Devon in KwaZulu Natal and I was born in KwaZulu in KwaZulu Natal. You can call me Hamish or you... Alright, so they call me uh Lungis. And Lungis is somebody who fix things, okay? Or oh, some other people, some of my Zulu friends, also friends, they like to call me especially women. Most of women like to call me Mtwana, but a lot of my guys they like to call me Lungis. And Lungis is like I say somebody who fix things, or oh, some of my petty uh, Sutu and Twana friends, a lot of call me uh, Hoson Morena Fela. Hoson means uh, uh, peace upon you, King, and fa uh, Hoson means peace upon you, but uh, uh, Morena means King, and uh, Feleng means uh, somebody who make decision based on some consciousness, okay? So Hoson Morena Feleng, Hoson means peace upon you. Uh, Morena means king, peace upon you, king, and Phelan means somebody make decision based on some consciousness. Now, let's get started with no time. Question number 14. A container with a length of 40 centimeters. Okay, this is a container, has a length of 40 centimeters, has a height of 10 centimeters, and the width of 30 centimeters. So, before we do this question, let me show you something quick, quick. If you have this, this let's say this is a rectangular prism, like a box, or semi container, which look like a box. And then let's say here we have a 4 centimeter. And this is three centimeter, and this is five centimeter. Let's say, or oh, let's say, uh, this is one centimeter. Let's say find the volume. So to get the volume of this is easy. What you do, you multiply everything. So you want to say volume of this prism or box or whatever. Like if I want to fill up stuff with volume equal to length times breadth. Let's say this is one centimeter. And this is four, three, and one. So you say length and breadth times the height means. Okay, so volume equal to what is the length? Length equal to four centimeter. What is the breadth? Our breadth equal to one centimeter, and the height equal to three centimeter. So you multiply all four times one equal to four times three equal to twelve centimeter times centimeter times centimeter centimeter square cube centimeter cube. So this is the volume. Oh, so to get the volume is easy. What you do? You multiply all the length, and then we get the volume. Of rectangular prism or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Man, this is just a perfume, so never mind. Just spray that I spray here. Okay, that's why I got this color. Let's get started. Let's go. So now, now we know how to find the volume of, of a box or a rectangular prism. Now, another thing, and then I'll show you how to do that question, which is given, right? Okay, so if somebody give you, let's say, uh, a cylinder, cylinder, or a can, like stuff like this, let's say, find the volume. Okay, this is cylinder. Let's say, find the volume. Let's say, this is a height, high. And they say this is, uh, they give you radius. From here to here is radius. So they say find the volume. It's like, you know, a cylinder, stuff like this. Oh, I don't have some. You know, cylinder, like a can or whatever, stuff like this. So this is cylinder here. So we can find the volume of this. As long as you have a height and you have a radius. Okay, so how are we going to get a cylinder? Uh, volume of a cylinder. Volume equal to pi radius square times the height. Just like that. Volume equal to pi r square radius square times the height. This r represents the radius, radius from the center to the anywhere, means from here to here. For example, if somebody say, uh, okay, let's say somebody say our radius, let's say, let's assume, let's say our radius, uh, let's say our radius equal to 10, uh, diameter equal to 10 centimeter. And the height, let's say equal to 12 centimeter. 
let's say find the volume is easy so we will say volume equal to pi pi 3.142 or you can say 3.14 depends on given but you can get this in the calculator is constant you don't calculate this pi is 3.14 times radius what is the radius all of this is diameter diameter from here from beginning to an end you must throw the center but a radius means a half of the diameter so if this is 10, the radius is going to be from here to here, which is going to be 5, and from here to here is going to be 5. So a radius equal to 5. But remember, there's a square. So I'm going to say 5, and then what? Square, and then times the height. What is my height? My height equal to, let me do, do this quick, just a minute. So. What is my radius? The radius equal to 5 centimeters. So I'll say 5 centimeter, but there's a square. I like to put my stuff in a bracket when there's a square or cube. See here, radius square means this radius five centimeter and then i have to square time the height what is the height 12 centimeter 12 centimeter so now i'm going to say this let me say volume equal to 3.142 times five with look when you square you must go for both five square equal to 25 means five square don't say five times two is five squares like five square five square is like five times five equal to 20 Five. You can plug in the calculator. Centimeter square means it's going to be centimeter square times 12 centimeter. So what you're going to do, take a calculator, multiply all those three. So we say uh, 3.142 multiplied by 25, by 25, and then multiply by 12. And this is going to give us uh, 942.6. 942.6. This centimeter square and another centimeter means it's going to give us centimeter cube because volume. Oh, so now we know how to find the volume of a cylinder. We know how to find the volume of the bag or rectangle, rectangular prism. So what is next? Easy. The next thing we're going to say, okay, so we can solve this question. Now let's go to the question, read and then you see how we can overcome it. Easy question. Very easy question. Do you know this? Now, they say container with a length of four also. This container has a length of 40 centimeters. It's a length of 40 centimeters. You see? Give a length equals 40 centimeters. And then a breadth equal to 3 centimeters. 30 centimeters means this is breadth equal to? Sometimes they call width, sometimes they call breadth. Okay? So the same thing. And the height equal 10 centimeters. What do you want? They say inside of it, uh, this stuff, uh, height of 10 centimeters, height of 10 centimeters, contain 12 identical canes. Oh, so inside of this box, we have a 12 identical cans. Cans like something like this. You know, like, like for example, if you go to the malls or shopping center, they have a can where sometimes they have a baked beans or baked fish or any food. So those cans something look like a cylinder. So we have a 12 identical cans in that box. We have 12 cans. They're like this, like, but they show on top of the box. But it's like, we have a 12 of these, which is inside this box. 12 of them identical means they look alike. They're inside this box. So, and then, so each one with a diameter of 10 centimeters and height of, so all these identical, uh, 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 this identical cylinder, they have a diameter of what of 10, you see what I'm saying? And also they have a height of 10 also, 10 centimeters. Now, what do you want? They say the remaining space is filled with the sand because when you put this stuff, remember there's going to be space here in between. So they fill up with the sand. They take sand, they put it in. Now, what do you say? They say, how much sand was required? Oh, so we need to get the volume of the sand which were required. Is easy. So what we're going to do first and foremost, I'm going to find the volume of everything of this box. And then after that, I'm going to find the volume of all of these cans, which are 12. So I'm going to find the volume of one can, which they look like a cylinder. That means I'm going to use the formula of the cylinder. Get the volume of one can, and then that volume multiplied by 12. So I'm going to take the whole volume of all this and then find the volume of all these canes and then I'm going to subtract so the remaining space is going to be for the sand. Let's go. So I'm going to say, let me find volume of everything. So say volume of a box, volume of a uh, container, of a container, equal the whole container, equal to length, time, uh, time, breadth, time, the height. So length, what is the length? Length equal to 40 centimeter, 40 centimeter times length and breadth, what is the breadth? 30 centimeter times the height, what is the height? 10 centimeter, 10 centimeter. So this is going to give us 4 times 3 equal to 12, 1, 2, 3. You multiply 30 times 40, 
times 1. Almost now, 4 times 1 times 3 equal to 12. And then how many? 0, 1, 2, 3, 3. Centimeter times centimeter times centimeter, centimeter cube. So volume of this container we have already, of all the container. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to find the volume of uh, one cylinder, but it seems identical. I'm going to find the 1 and then I'm going to apply by 12. Okay? So volume of a cylinder now. So volume of a cylinder we know is pi r squared times height. But how many of them? There are 12. So since it's 12, I can say 12 times volume of one cylinder. So this is the volume of all these can. can. They say uh, identical can. So there are 12 of them. So say 12 times the volume of each one. So I'm going to say this is equal to 12 times, what is pi? Pi 3.14? 142 times this is constant, so you get in a calculator. Our right, radius, what is our radius? Our radius, we know they say that the diameter of this cylinder look, this is like, like this, or this can, but the diameter they give us 10. So, if this diameter 10 means the radius is going to be a half of this, which is 5. So, we're going to say, okay, so our formula radius square means it's going to be 5 what centimeter what square times the height. What is the height? They say here. Diameter and height of 10, 10 centimeters. So what I'm gonna do, I'll just take a calculator and multiply this stuff. You know what I'm saying? Multiply. Okay, or you can just say, okay, say so 12 times 3.142 times five square. Five square means five, square means five times five. Five square means five times five, we go 25. Centimeter square is centimeter, square times 10 centimeters. So what we're going to do, we're going to plug that a calculator, the calculator. So you say 12, 12 times 3.14, 2 times, to 5 times 10. And this is going to give us 9, 4, 26. Okay, so volume of all these cylinders together, that's what I'm going to plug by 12 equal to uh, 9, 4, 26. 9, 4, 26. Centimeter squared times centimeter means this is square and another centimeter is going to be centimeter. Cube. So we have the volume of all, volume of all the container and volume of all these cans. So we want to know, okay, the space that where, whereby, where it was empty, they say they fill up something, fill with the sand. They take sand they put it in that space, in, uh, empty space. So we want to get that volume of sand. How am I going to get? Take the whole volume and then minus this, con uh, this can. So the left space, that space is going to be for sand. So we will say, let's go. So it's a volume of a sand equal to, we take everything, one, two, one, two, three centimeter, cube minus nine, four, 26 centimeter, cube. So that one, so say uh, one, two, one, three, and then we minus, okay, 25, 74. Excuse me. Uh, Uh, okay. Uh, oh, you can plug this in the calculator as a pi. If you have a calculator, multiply as a pi. Okay, just a second. If you plug this as a pi, okay, just a second. Okay, say uh, 12, 12 times, see, 12 times, I'm sure. 12 times, 12 times, shifting pi, see, shift pi, and then you multiply uh, by 25. And then you multiply by 10. I'm trying to get a volume of a of, of uh, volume of uh of those can 12 of them. So 9424, 9424.7777. If I had to use this pi in the calculator, or oh, you can use that one. So if you use a calculator, there's a pi is gonna give us 9424.777. Okay, so if I use calculator, I could have given me. 9, 4, 2, 4.7, let's say 7, 8, because 2 uh, decimal So I'll say 120. So you see, I'm going to come here and say, okay, so now, okay, just a second. So say, okay, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, and then minus the answer. Our answer is what is? 9, 4, 2, 4. So you can say 9, 4, 9, 4, 2, 4, point seven, seven eight. Okay, now this is going to give us... Uh, 2575.22257522 okay so our uh, profile this one okay 952522 okay but all of them is going to give similar or same answer so minus 9424.78 and then this is going to give us 
nine five no two five excuse me my apologies seven five point two two so this is the volume of a sand but now they want in liter so how much is the quantity so if they want in liter what you do you divide by one thousand whenever the one volume in liter let's say liter so if it's a centimeter cube then this will be my volume but if the one in liter how much sand was required so it means the one saying but let's say liter because you know why the reason I'm looking here around because of these questions here I'm doing is the multiple choice so I want to make sure I get the exactly answer that you're looking for so I'm gonna to have to take this divided by 1000 so you see this one here answer we divide by 1000 so say divide by 1000 if you want to change centimeter cube to liter you divide by 1000 and get an answer so gonna be 2.575 or you can say 2.58 into approximation so we can say a volume of a cent equal to 2 point, 2 point 5, 7, 5, 2. But when you approximate it to decimal place, what you do, you come, you see this is decimal. You go face second. And then you look this number. If this number is 5 or more than 5, it's going to change the previous one. So you're going to add 1 here. So it's going to become 2.58. Because this is 5 or more. But if it was 4, there was no way it was going to say 2.57. If it was 3, 2.57 for just 2, 2.57. But if it was 6, 